Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. We are playing as a Russian tribal, and we have, of course, uh, become feudal. Unfortunately, this does cause problems with uh, many of our vassals, as uh, they are tribal, and they don't really like us that much. Uh, for example, this guy, uh, wrong government type, minus 20. So that's kind of a problem. But uh, I would not actually mind if this guy revolted, because he is Elmenian. So that would not uh, would not bring a tear to my eye if he uh, decided to revolt. Uh, let's see. I do eventually need to get this territory so I can create uh, Ryazan here, but no one has uh, upgraded. Uh, we do have one territory that will be upgrading right here. Uh, well, that it, that has upgraded. I will give this guy the uh, the duchy, and um, you know he may try and go for sacks on his own, although he's not going to have a lot of troops for quite a while, but he will be getting more money. Uh, not all that much, but he'll be getting more money than uh, a tribal would. He'll have to deal with this guy, though. Uh, I've sent out some uh, ransom requests, so we should be getting those momentarily, and... This guy is going to hate me quite a bit because, uh, well, I mean, I revoked his title, and he wants control of the chiefdom of Kostroma. That's not going to happen. We're calling in a favor. High Chief Bryakslav II has forced you to start a vote on the slightly tax-focused burger obligation laws. Um... I don't have a problem with that at all, actually. You're, you're doing my job for me. You called in my favor? That That's fantastic. Let's go ahead and educate you. You are my son. Fantastic. Raiders have arrived up there. Wow. You double over in pain as you are suddenly beset by painful cramps. Alas! No, no, not cramps. Health minus 0.5. It's terrible. Rostislava thinks, that, thinks her symptoms may point to pneumonia. She insists that you follow her instructions. Very well. Rostislava gave you a lump of shiny metal to put in your mouth for an hour each night to cure you of your cramps. I'm not sure this did anything. I did not apparently get any uh, treatment thing. Now I'm going to raise my troops and go take care of these guys. Because I want to murder them. One moment you are shivering, the next you are sweating. Overall, you feel awful. Oh no, I have a fever. Alas! Rostislava suggests you follow her instructions to combat the food poisoning you could well be suffering from. Very well. Uh-oh. I would rather not die just yet. Alright, so I am over my vassal limit. In that case... Let's go ahead and grant... Krakow. And let's go ahead and grant I Chiefdom of Lesser Poland. People will vote for it. Excellent. That's out of my hands. Uh, I had already gotten rid of quite a few uh, things, so it wasn't a problem, but hey, it's out of my hands. That's the important thing. Also, have anyone else that I can ransom? Not right now. To rid you of your ailments, Rotislava ordered you to sleep hanging upside down for a couple of days. It will rebalance you, she assures you. You feel like a bat. I am glad I hired her. I get good symptom treatment. Excellent. Less likely to die, at least. 
A sudden gurgling and feeling of pressure in your gut is all the warning you have before you are forced to make a dash for the privy. Shouldn't have had that Taco Bell. Alas, now I have diarrhea. Achievement unlocked! Typhoid Mary. Well, I wasn't expecting that. I guess I uh, have three symptoms? Because it doesn't say that I have typhoid. Hey, my concubine is pregnant. Eh, she didn't mind sleeping with someone who had diarrhea, apparently. My steward, Voyaslav, has come to me with some new ideas regarding trade and infrastructure. All of them seem very promising. He claims the ideas came from a flash of inspiration. I am sure we have the ancestors to thank. Put the plans into motion! Gain 100 technology points. Economic technology points, specifically. Uh, let's go ahead and educate you. You're willful, haughty. That's fine. Come on. Thank you. Oh yeah, I don't actually need you guys. I can seek treatment. Let's go ahead and do that. Uh, I believe that's going to be for my diarrhea. Rostislava is worried that you may be developing smallpox. She insists that you follow her instructions. Very well. The liquid in the chalice was warm and sour. It will chase the other heat away, Rost Rostislava explains. I'm not sure that it did anything. You've arrived at the private room of Chief Mitrofan. There is plenty of food and drink here, and the mood is decidedly merry. You are looking forward to this. Let's get it started, even though I have cramps, a fever, and diarrhea. It's fine. Ooh. Yep, I have food poisoning. When you're not passing a loose stool in the chamber pot, you are bent over, retching. You are suffering from food poisoning. Alas! Okay, 65% chance uh, I suffer, suffer a normal illness. 20% chance a mild illness, 10% chance a severe illness, 5% chance that I become bedridden with food poisoning. Mild illness. Good. Uh, you have become a mastermind theologian. Wow. Excellent. Your court physician, Rostislava, has come to see you and offers treatment for your illness. She explains that there are several different types of treatment she can offer. Oh good, I am brave. Alright, uh, come on, Rostislava, let's try something new. I insist. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Don't cut off my face. The pot which King Svetozar of Rus brought with... Huh. Really? With her to your chambers, emitted a strange buzzing sound. Before you could stop her, she threw it on the floor, where it exploded in a cloud of pottery shards and swarm and swarm of furious bees. As her physician fled the room, you remained their only target. If only Nick Cage knew! I feel amazing! Successful experimental treatment. Health plus three. Yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Not that it actually cured me. Hey, you're my best friend. Sweet. Reveling is over. Ah, it was fun. In the chaos of battle, your men have managed to corner Yag uh, Yabgu. He resisted bravely before they slew him. Well, he was no one special. Although, he was actually pretty good. Good riddance. Died in battle. Also, you have died... Zerk. Um, you are now... You're still Polish. I'll have to keep an eye on you and your kids. They still... Bes they, they still manage to, uh, finish the siege before we, uh... Even though we'd already engaged in battle. I wonder, how is that going? Can I... I don't actually have a vote on this, do I? Oh, how, 
How do I change my vote? I mean, I'm perfectly fine. Why is this showing me as an opponent? I want this! I want this, damn it! <sighs> oh well. Go ahead and crush these guys. They rejected it. Oh. I'd have been happy with that. Alright, Turov is under attack. Uh, Turovian Holy War for Severia. Alright, get rid of our troops. What are we actually looking at? Um, could use some more. Now, I've got a thousand gold. I need to spend this a little bit. Uh, let's keep building up our holdings. Five percent more levy would not be bad, but uh, I think getting just a uh, hundred more troops flat out would be a little bit better. Uh, lots of things that I could build here. More barracks would probably be the best thing. Um... That is a lot of money, though. Yeah, down to 300. That's okay. I've inherited Kostroma. Well, you didn't last long. Well, you did have flu. I was kind of hoping that uh, by giving it to him, he would get treatment and stuff like that. No, I still suffer from food poisoning. Okay. I'll go with you. What, is, what are all of you guys doing? Ah, you're doing fine. Uh, you were complaining about your dark cell? Um, how about the Oubliette? When you have money. Successful crusade for Aquitaine. Oh, wow. Well, congratulations, guys. Congratulations, I should say. That is actually quite a bit of land, because uh, I forgot that Barcelona was considered part of Aquitaine. Uh, the Blessed Virgin has granted Sulian Carling victory in the Crusade for Aquitaine against Sultan Coward of Arabid Sultanate. Pope Lucius V has called for a month of celebration across the whole Christian world. Cursed infidels? Well, I mean, I don't... It's not like we like the the Muslims either up here. Oh. Poland gained some Magyar territory, unfortunately. Sure, I'll come. It's fine. The peasants and Torapets spend a long time on the road in order to meet with the Volves, or so your diviner Cardas claims. He suggests that it would be in your interests to construct local shrines. In the way the peasants in that way, the peasants would not have to travel far in order to worship. Less traveling means more working be more work being done. 14 gold? Gain 25 piety, I could use some more piety. And uh Local shrines for two years, and I get uh, monthly piety 0.25. And the prosperity increases. Sounds good to me. And Torzok prospers. Excellent. More money. Anyone else want to be uh, ransomed? Nope. Ah. Former wife of uh, Boris. Oh, man, Boris was so good. Svetozar is so not so good. <laughs> and daughter was born. Uh, 
Ah, you are no longer... You must have conquested. Well, I kind of feel like going after one of you. Alright, going to... Not one of you, but one of these territories. Uh, you've got a lot of prestige, though. Not a fan. Doesn't have many troops. I think it might be best to go after this one because it is, uh, not that great. Um, I'd be a little bit worried about, uh, this guy going after one as well. And we kind of need to, if we win the war, we should get some more prestige, so. Let's see. Well, I suppose I could just do a holy war. Yeah, no, they're Christian. Never mind. Oh, it was this guy. He went and took this one. All right. Oh, no, he was just elected. Hmm. Oh, they were all the same house. Okay. I guess that makes sense. On the other hand, if I... I also don't want Bohemia to come in and take it. But they haven't yet, so... I'll, I'll take this one. I mean, if this guy takes this one, it's not that big of a deal. If this guy takes it, that's a little bit more annoying, but... Not a huge deal either. All right, let's do it. Raise up my troops. Probably won't need... Uh, I mean, they're going to have a lot of troops, but... We have much... Oh, well, that was a little bit less... Good. Wasn't quite expecting him to get that many. All right, fair enough. Eh, we don't need these guys. God damn it. Stupid raiders. This isn't even very good territory. Go, go harass the goddamn Christians down in Italy or something. That's what I always do. Like, Venice is fantastic. Love, love going after Venice. Uh, let's see. Oh, you were my courtier. I mean, you were my concubine. Oh, looks like I need a new one. All right, take concubine. Sure. I'll take you. Did you just... You got a goddamn holy order, didn't you? Alright, that is gonna be annoying. No wonder you've got troops. Alright, Bohemia, you need to... You need to, uh, give up with them. What are you... Who are you actually attacking? How are you atta- These guys are, are Slavic too. Are you not Slavic? No, of course then he wouldn't be able to get the Holy Order. You're just sitting on the goddamn uh, Holy Order. God, you suck. I don't know what the hell you're doing. Your violent vomiting and diarrhea have gone away. 
You have recovered from what must have been food poisoning. I feel better. Yay! Just in time to carouse. All right, he wants to play for money, which we never actually get any money out of this. And I've won. I get Apprentice Board Gamer. Diplomacy plus one. Good, I need more diplomacy. Um, I'm not going to dedicate all my life. I want a dedicated carouser. We'll take that. Um... So I've got a, a boost of three already. If I switch away, that'll go down to five. Uh. Oh god damn it! Stop going through Riga. Right. Selected too many. There we go. Once that unit gets down here... Hey, I got some tech points. Alright. Let's go up there. Uh, Terrain-wise, it is... Forest. Alright. So I'll have some defensive terrain. Fall of the Avars. The Avar Cognate was established in Europe in 567, after the Avars migrated into the Carpathian Basin from the east. They crushed the Gepids and allied with the Lombards to form a strong realm in the area. In the area. For long periods, they altered, be alternated between conflict and truce with the Eastern Roman Empire, and had close dealings with the Lombard kings. Now, however, this once proud realm has fallen. The area is no longer ruled by an Avar dynasty, and shall once again be known by the ancient name of Pannonia. Sic transit gloria mundi. Ah, uh, Croatian. Okay, Croatian Catholic now has Pannonia rather than Avaria. Daughter was born. Let's go with thrift. Yep, that's been conquered. Oh, did you just uh, form the duchy? Or did you just... Yeah, you formed the duchy. Alright, that's fine. My wife is pregnant. Excellent. The color just changed there. Alright, let's go uh, back to carousing. Good drinks and food, carousing, everything's fine. Or was fine until Chief Mitrofan unexpectedly threw a fit of rage. You're not sure why, but he's coming right at you with fists up. Uh-oh. I must escape and hide. I would automatically lose a trait of brave. No. Well, if that's what you want, 89% chance that I get beaten up. He's got a goddamn four martial skill. Does he even have any personal combat skill? I've got a personal combat skill of two. He has no personal combat skill. Great. Until 9 of, well, half a year. 10% uh, chance I gain wounded. 1% chance that I gain maimed. I'll automatically gain severely injured. 30% chance that we become bitter rivals. Now, we're friends. Ah. Alright, well, he got beaten up. What about me? No, I got beaten up as well. Uh, I did not get uh, anything else. So that's good. I mean, this is crappy, but... At least I didn't get, like, severely injured or something. Levy reinforcements. 
Finmark has fallen. Not that I care. The reveling and carousing is over. For now. Time to get back to real life. Now, one thing that I uh, did not realize is that there is actually a um, an achievement for getting hedonist. So I might actually want this one. Uh, socializer would be really good. I mean, I don't really need the two diplomacy. I mean, uh, the, the two intrigue. Fertility plus 20% wouldn't be bad. No, I think I want the socializer. Um, let's switch to business focus. Oh, I can't. 907. Oh, three years. Okay. Uh, you've died, and you have inherited. You are Russian. That's good. That is the only in the only thing that I care about at this point. Anyone want to be uh, ransomed? Nope. Recently, I have noticed a pitiful state of my daughter, Princess Tatiana. I have just been informed that the cause of her aches and fatigue is a case of the flu. I pray to Perrin that she will recover. Uh, decent symptom, symptom treatment. Alright. Taken both of those, but that's no real biggie. I mean, I'm going to just move up there once we're done. Where are you going? You're going to Nordland? Yeah, I mean, I don't care about that. Militia training ground has been completed. You want to kill someone? How about you end your plot? How about you end your plot? I should actually double check the, uh... Yep. Yeah, lots of known plots. Um... Can I imprison you? Ah, you've fled. So now you have the, uh, title. Eh, whatever. It's fine. Okay. Those two have ended their plots. Uh, also you... You are Mordvin. Ah, you've fled too. It's fine, I don't care. I'll shake things up just fine, you know, a little bit in our realms. He likes me more. Okay, we've uh, sieged that down. Now, we are unfortunately getting uh, levy penalties, but... I mean, if that guy's just going to move up there, I'm going to take all of his lands. Aha! You've decided to uh, surrender. I'll accept that. Thank you. Alright, let's just, uh... Get rid of everything. Alright. You have just declared a revolt. That's fine with me. I don't really care. Anyone want to be, uh, ransomed? Nope. All right, plots. Nope, you won't end your plot. You will? You won't. All right, that's fine. All right, well, we've got a uh, territory to give out. I will do that uh, in between episodes when we return. Um... 
not entirely sure what I want to do next. Uh, we don't really have a faction problem at the moment. Uh, 35%, 41% there. Uh, so those aren't going to be a problem. Now, maybe once we release some of these other people, it will. Uh, but we'll wait and see how that goes. See you next time, everyone.